Oh, you guys are too nice. You guys aren't from around here, are you? You can tell you guys have that steal my wallet smile. Adorable. I love out-of-towners, though. Out-of-towners, oh, you guys are some of my most favorite people in New York. You know why? Because out-of-towners are some of the most racist people we get in New York. Not bad racist, funny racist. You'll say things out loud and not even realize you're saying it. On my way here, I'm on the subway. Out of town couple was sitting across from me and I knew they were out of towners because they had the I love New York shirts on. Yeah, <laughs> they had that look of hope in their eye. Adorable. So apparently they were lost because the wife turned to her husband. She's like, hey, maybe we should ask him for directions. And he was like, no, because he probably doesn't speak English. First of all, they're arguing about this right in front of my face like I'm not even there. <laughs> Finally, the guy decides to ask me for directions and white people, because it's usually you. <laughs> don't do this. It's patronizing. He was like, excuse me. Hola, amigo. Hola, comprende? Time squaro. I was mad, but he did ask. So I was like, all right. Lo que va a hacer va a ir como cuatro quedos para allá. That's what I said. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Spanish people, we'll pretend we don't speak English. Any Spanish people here? Two people, nice. You guys ever pretend you don't speak English? Exactly. Oh. Isn't it awesome? People come up to me all the time, they're like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, oh, my friend, I'm so sorry. No English. They say right now, Spanish people, we're the largest minority. Just a matter of time before we have a Spanish president. Thanks for laughing, racist out of town as well. I love how some of you giggle like, oh, silly Latino. No one's gonna vote for Pedro. I'm pretty sure this past election, we probably had a Spanish candidate, but he didn't trust it. They came up to him, they're like, Mr. Ramirez, now is your time to run. He's like, why, immigration here? <laughs> no, for president. He's like, no, are you punking me? No, 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 let's let him go first. Let the black one go first. Let's see what happened to him. And then I go, but I know go first. <laughs> Asian president? You guys ever think we could see an Asian president? I don't know if I could vote for somebody. I don't know if I could vote for somebody that tells me to come support him on Erection Day. That'd be weird. <laughs> it's there, it's, it's there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it took a minute for some of you, but you came along. I like that. I can't say we all faked the, the, the Spanish accent because my mother's been in this country 35 years, still has not mastered the English language. <laughs> when I was little, I used to get yelled at in all the wrong tenses. She'd be like, no, 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 no. Ecu you to me. What will you be thinking when you were did that? <laughs> I didn't know if I was getting yelled at for something I did or something I was gonna do in the future. I just... She still messes words up to this day. This past Christmas, she bought me a PSP. Awesome gift. But this is what she was asking for in the stores. She's like, excuse me. Do you have PCP? <laughs> the poor little guy at Best Buy was all confused. like, what? <laughs> Not in the store. If you go around back to shipping, Ramon can help you out. <laughs> My parents were tough on me growing up. They were. My parents raised me on the belief that money doesn't buy happiness, you know? And when you're little, you don't understand that. But now that I'm older, I realize that we were just poor, and that's all that was. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks being poor when you're little. Like, I used to hate summer vacations. Other kids used to go places cool, and we'd come back, oh, we went to Disney World, where'd you go? We only went where we had relatives, because my parents didn't want to spend for a hotel. <laughs> Every year was the same thing. Okay, where do you want to go this year? We have your Uncle Manny in New Jersey. Oh, your Uncle Freddy who lives downstairs. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Holidays sucked in my house too. 
Like growing up, we didn't believe in Santa Claus. Anybody else? Just me? All right, that's fine. <laughs> we did it. Santa, my dad was not gonna give Santa credit for his hard-earned money. He made sure his kids knew where the gifts were coming from. He'd write it right on the gift. He'd be like, to my son, happy Merry Christmas from two overtime shifts, a weekend shift at the factory, and the tooth fairy no real either. <laughs> And he was creative with his money too. Not a good combination. Cause I have what's known as a holiday birthday. My birthday is a week and a half after Christmas. Yeah. Kids always thought that was cool. They're like, oh wow, you must get double the gifts. <laughs> Not in my house. I remember when I was nine years old, this is what I got for Christmas. I got this box. I opened it up and inside was a right sneaker, just one. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? He's like, well, maybe if you're good on your birthday, 